Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick follow-up to today's earlier fast breaking video because uh, you know I didn't get a chance to talk to you about the the fasting blood glucose or rather the blood glucose and ketone levels after I had eaten and seeing how they were coming down and I was so rem uh, impressed by the numbers that I saw at my one hour and five hour mark that I had to come back and share them with you because it's definitely showing a steady improvement as I've gone through this now for three weeks. And uh, we'll talk about those in just a moment. I'm getting my second meal of the day ready. I'm not gonna eat this whole steak. Uh, I'm still relatively full from the last one. So I'm probably gonna eat about half of this and leave the rest for Katie. She'll be coming back from the conference here soon. So she'll wanna have something to eat ready. And I, since I won't be here, I wanna make sure she has something good to go with. And uh, I gotta tell you, I was surprised, you know, cause I'd been worried that I was getting a cephalic insulin response from this uh, smoke salt. And I was even a little more concerned when I started using the apple pecan smoke salt that Redmond sent me to try out, which I absolutely love, by the way. And I thought, well, maybe, you know, because it's apple and pecan, even though it's wood chips, it's not the actual apples and pecans, that maybe it's going to give me even more of a uh, insulin response or a blood glucose response. But after what I saw today, I don't think I have any concerns about that because I used it on the steak that I used to break my fast this morning. And I'm using it again now because it is absolutely wonderful. Even though it says it's best on chicken or other dishes, I absolutely love it on beef. But let me get this started and I'll tell you about those uh, blood glucose and ketone numbers. And I'm also going to talk to you about something else uh, one of my viewers asked me about with regard to vanity. All right, so my steak is ready and I just wanted to come back and really quick share with you those numbers. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out though. Now somebody asked me earlier today why my steak comes out so crispy looking in the chef maker. Uh, well today, even though I did use the thermometer earlier, I didn't use it this time because I just put it in for 15 minutes and then I just flipped it over now and did three more minutes because it's a good sized steak so it needs a little more than 15 at 450 degrees and that's what gives it that crispier look sometimes is when you're cooking at that higher temperature. I still love the way it comes out in chef mode but sometimes I'm pressed for time and I can't wait for chef mode especially sous vide. Uh, even, even classic flavor is going to be a random time Whereas I know I can get 15 to 18 minutes, that'll give me time to come talk to you guys, and then I gotta get dressed and run to work. So sometimes I'm pressed for time and I make some adjustments. And I'm gonna talk about that in an upcoming video where I'm gonna talk about the Chef Maker again for Black Friday. So for those of you who are interested in getting the Chef Maker, you may wanna stick around for that video coming soon because they're gonna have a fantastic special for Black Friday this year. So after what Dr. Baker talked about yesterday at the conference where he mentioned about eating a high protein diet, allowing for a longer period of time to see your blood glucose come back into a normal range, uh, I was very happy to see that one hour after my, my fasting had started today at 7.44 a.m., and I'll show you pictures of these here, uh, my ketone level was at 4.9 even an hour after eating. That was remarkable to me. So I'm staying in a good state of ketosis even after breaking my fast. And my glucose was only 65. So it had gone up from, uh, what was it, about 35 earlier that day? Let me see. Yeah, it was 43 earlier in the day, not, not 35. It was 43. And then uh, at 1143, which was about four and a half, five hours roughly after my breaking my fast, my ketone level was still at 3.9, which is remarkable to me, and my glucose was a healthy 76. So I am not upset with that at all. I'm very glad to see my numbers are not riding in the 90s like they were before, because that's gonna help with getting those areas that I've been focusing on. And the reason I've been focusing on these, you know, somebody asked me uh, not too long ago in a comment, uh, when does this become vanity? You know, I understand from the Christian perspective, we don't want to be doing things for vain reasons. My reasons for doing this all have to do with health. And I personally see having a body that's well maintained, that having my temple being taken care of properly is just a matter of maintenance to make sure that I'm presenting myself 
to the world and to my Lord and to my wife with the best that I can offer and not neglecting what I've been given charge over. And that's to take care of this body as long as I'm here on earth. It's not about me showing this off to anybody else except maybe my wife. And that's not really showing off. It's just presenting to her something that's healthy and happy for her. Because, you know, when I was much larger, let's face it, guys, it can be rough on a woman to have a very large man in their life. You know, some women love that, but I, I, I'm not don, you know, getting on to anybody for the way they are. But for me... And my wife admitted it to me later that it is a lot easier on her having me a smaller size. So I'm glad to be able to present that to her. And I'm glad to be able to do that to honor her and to honor my Lord as well. Because to me, this is just temple maintenance. I'm trying to make sure that I'm in good shape so that I know that I'm taking care of this temple that I haven't done a good job of taking care of in the past 48 years. You know, I got tattoos. I'm scarred from decisions I made in the past. I think if it was uh, vanity, you'd see me doing things like getting some kind of surgery done because I want to show off something. It's not about showing off anything. It's all about positive self-image in the sense that I'm maintaining what's my responsibility to maintain. These numbers as far as uh, ketones and glucose are encouraging to me because it, know, it lets me know that my cells are getting the energy that they need to repair and rebuild from all the damage I've done in the past 48 years. And I love being able to eat this way because it encourages me not to overeat. The fasting is also wonderful because it helps me to have a real sense of appreciation for the things I do have and to not feel like I need so many other things, like I used to need so many of the other vices that had a grip on me earlier in life. It's such a freeing feeling to not be pulled in every direction by all of these desires. And fasting really helps me to, to kind of keep that in a good perspective. But obviously, it helps me to maintain good metabolic health, even when I'm eating a lot of protein or a lot of fat. And I'm not going to eat all of this steak today, as I mentioned before. I'm just looking forward to digging in for a little bit of lunch before I go to work. And then I'll be eating again in the morning, taking the rest of the day off. It's right at 1230 now. So I'll have had my two meals before midday and I'm ready to go. If you guys have any comments about that when it comes to the vanity perspective, I'd love to hear them in the description. But again, if I ever come across as being vain in any way, all I can say is I'm sorry. I am not trying to do that at all. This is not about me being uh, feeling like I'm something special because I've been able to get in shape. I'm just thankful. I am truly thankful that the Lord led me to a way of eating that has changed my health, that has changed my mental attitude, that has changed my spiritual life in so many ways. And I just I feel good and I want to share that with others. So that's why I'm here sharing it with you. And I hope this follow-up video was useful for you. And I'll see you guys next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? And just so for full disclosure on how much I ate today, this is how much steak I'm leaving left over from my wife. I ate just under half of that steak. And uh, this will be more than enough for her. She doesn't eat nearly as much as I do. Plus she still eats some other things, but I'm getting her on as much meat as I possibly can to help her get healthier and happier. Be sure to check out Ferrigno Freedom Facebook group. This group is private so that you don't have to worry about all your personal information being shared with all of your friends. We're just here to encourage each other and keep each other on track.